my name is Emma Saperstein and I'm the chief curator of the San Luis Obispo Museum of Art and I'm here today to share with you the museum's annual rotating mural program. The first mural on the museum's building was executed in January of 2021. I know that feels like a lifetime ago, but it was really just last year. <laughs> The museum had just taken on new leadership, the brilliant Leanne Standish. We can snap, we can snap for Leanne. <sighs> and the institution, as many, many arts institutions will know, was really wrestling with how to keep our audiences engaged while our building was still closed. We decided to launch an annual mural program so that each year the community would be able to experience a new artist's vision for as long as we are in our building. We chose last year to work with Puerto Rican born, but Dallas based artist Juan Alberto Negroni, who in nine days, with four assistants, executed the beautiful and lively Pacific Caribbean mural, which became a colorful downtown friend to many of you. We gave the next artist a little more time. <laughs> Alongside the mural, Juan curated a playlist and designed a custom print to accompany the piece. Our museum staff designed and executed a fun children's program as part of our monthly Second Saturdays event. And as you can see, the piece became a beloved selfie background for Cal Poly students and more. To help the piece exist for posterity, we commissioned essays from global scholars and arts writers who knew Juan's work and could help unpack some of the themes that he was working with. Almost immediately after Juan's piece went up, we started exploring another mural candidate for the following year, 2022. I was really inspired by the work of another organization working in public art based out of Atlanta called Living Walls. And it was through them that I first encountered Erin Leanne Mitchell's work. I was immediately drawn to her use of color, her exploration of a number of different media, textile, painting, and of course, large scale murals. We were thrilled and really lucky that Erin agreed to come be a part of our community for a few weeks and execute her brilliance onto our building. All of these beautiful photos, by the way, are taken by Stefan Geraldo of Geraldo Creative, a photo and video specialist based here in Slow, who you should all hire. <laughs> For this piece, Aaron chose to engage with the story of the fictional black warrior and ruler Calafia, who many say was California's namesake. Aaron utilizes two primary motifs in the mural, both celebrating movement and language a dancing figure with a duafe or af afropic as a head symbolizes beauty and hieroglyphic language, while its four-footed limbs acknowledge life and existence. A motif of a black running woman embodies autonomy and movement. Throughout the piece, Erin utilizes specific botanical designs, including the California poppy to augment her work. These are all progress shots. So if you wanna see the real thing, you have to come by the museum. <laughs> and as we did with last year's mural project, Erin has already made a fantastic playlist. I listened to it on my way here this morning <laughs> and is working on a custom print. And our catalog for this piece will come out in May. I'd also love to acknowledge that this project is the museum's first ever National Endowment for the Arts grant funded project. The first of many, I hope. One of my favorite aspects of this rotating mural project is that we always get to work with Cal Poly and Cuesta students who often receive course credit to assist and execute the design. It is a life changing experience for all of them and so much fun. Every public art project in San Luis Obispo goes through a jury process and those jury members who supported Erin's project have instantly become true collaborators and cheerleaders for Erin and her process. There's some dancing that happens. <laughs> when asked at a recent mural walk how she felt about the temporality of the project, that after a year and hundreds of hours of labor and logistics that it gets covered up, Erin said, I just get to help shape this institution and this community's history. We are so lucky to have the opportunity to host Erin in our community, and I hope you'll come by the museum soon, become a member, and participate in our ongoing conversation about art and its transforming power. Thank you.